Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I just got done in purchasing some supplies from the hardware store. You can see it back here. Some spray foam that I'm using to uh, repair a part of my roof for my house. And uh, I noticed that there's a lot of smoke in the air. So I thought I'd bring you guys along for a ride with me on my way back home so that uh, you can see what it looks like. Now there's supposed to be some fires probably about 10 miles or so from where I live which is not really far. I just found this out yesterday actually. Uh, so let's go for a ride. I got to go to the gas station and get myself some fuel before I head home. So thanks for joining in and stand by. It's supposed to be a sunny day for about half of the day today and it's supposed to rain later on tonight. And you know what? It's funny, I'm looking at the sky through the uh, camera and it doesn't look as hazy as it looks in real life. But maybe as we get closer, we're pretty south of the fires right now. Maybe as we get closer, you guys will notice it more. But you'll see that there's really no background after the trees. So I just left a uh, Alaska industrial supply store. Let's see. It's like I left a, what is it, a Alaska Industrial Hardware, it's called AIH, and it's like a local supply store for, I'm sorry, for hardware, and uh, not only are they a local, you know, like Alaska store, but sometimes they have prices that are a lot better than the major brand hardware stores, so yeah, if you can't see the haze, ladies and gentlemen, it's definitely definitely there's a haze in the air that is encompassing the entirety of Fairbanks so let's hope that those fires get controlled from what I understand uh, there's firefighters up there uh, trying to control the you know the fire and uh, hopefully they'll you know they'll have it extinguished and do whatever it is that they have to do uh, to get that taken care of but you know I didn't realize that the fire that was going on was as close to my house as I thought it was uh, until my neighbor told me about it so it's in a way a little bit scary but there's really not much you can do about that and you know thinking logically uh, there's a lot of fire breaks and roads and empty spaces in between where the fire is and where I live so I'm guessing, and it's only a guess because I'm not an expert in any kind of fire stuff, uh, that it won't be able to advance uh, to where we live or even really close to where we live, like let's say within a mile or so. So I don't feel, you know, very afraid of it getting close to us, but anything can happen. You know, I do believe that I, I heard that that fire got started from a lightning strike and uh, anything can happen and it's hard to believe too nowadays or not nowadays but during this time of the year everything is so green that it's hard up here everything is so green and you'll see on my way up up the highway how green everything looks it's hard to believe that a fire can be started with so much greenery and so much moisture in the ground nowadays but I guess you know it can happen obviously it can happen if it happened right so, hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This is actually about two hours or so after our live stream, or not our live stream, but our premiere live chat that we had Sunday morning. So thank you very much for joining in. We had a lot of fun on that live chat. And I am going to do a video. Uh, it's pretty much going to be reading an article about... Uh, how safe is it to eat out of cans that are dented and or old and bloated or have frozen and things like that i'll probably put that up sometime either tomorrow monday or tuesday i'll see if i can put that up so that you guys can get the benefit of that and and for that video that i'm going to do i'll have to thank one of our community members uh, that sent me a link or he uh, commented and posted a link to that uh, article that i'm going to be reading for you guys so stay tuned for that one i've already read over it and it is a very good article and i will provide you all with the link as well 
so that you guys can find it easily and do your own research. I uh, <laughs> I got so much flack on the video on the Premier Live chat saying, "AP, hey, don't eat that meat. Don't eat that meat." And uh, I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> Someone asked me, they're like, "Why would you do that?" And I said, "I did this so that you guys wouldn't have to do it." <laughs> But that's just not a good excuse. It wasn't very smart on my part to have done that. Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm okay. It's been well over 12, probably about 18 hours since I had that meal. And it's uh, and I'm fine. I really thought, you know, when I opened that, that it was fine. You know, and I wasn't 100% sure on, you know, how compromised the inside of that can got and or... Uh, how long it had been compromised for right so anyways uh, live and learn I thank you guys for looking out for me I had actually saved the other five cans that had lost their seal and put them in the fridge and thought you know what I think I'll just go ahead and use these uh, you know but I'm gonna go ahead and follow your guys's advice and I am going to discard those five cans all right it's not like I paid for them anyways I was I they ended up reimbursing me for for those cans that lost their seal and or were badly dented all right but uh stay tuned for that video on uh, canned food safety because it's pretty interesting it even goes over uh dented cans and what the repercussions are of having a dented can and if you should eat it or not or what things you can look out for uh, when you are you know considering eating it someone did leave a comment on there though that said that in the worst of times even a can that has been compromised someone will eat it uh, because in order to kill botulism all right which is the big threat in using canned goods that may have been compromised you pretty much have to pressure uh, cook the food all right so I would actually feel very safe using those cans if I pressure can them or pressure cook them for like an hour all right because I do believe that you have to achieve a temperature of about 250 or so degrees when you are uh, killing botulism and there is also a certain number of minutes that you have to uh, have that food at that temperature in order to kill that uh, that bacteria Alrighty, we just got our fuel fix for the week or so and surprisingly the price of gasoline has gone down a little bit which is a good thing all right uh, let's take advantage of these good times while we can ladies and gentlemen so if you all have some extra fuel cans that are empty and you notice that gasoline is at a pretty good price right now it might be a good idea I'm not telling you what to do but it may be a good idea to go ahead and get yourselves a little bit of a stockpile of fuel you know maybe just enough to uh, fill each uh, tank of uh, gas in your vehicle so if let's say for example let's say if you have two vehicles in your household and each vehicle takes 18 gallons of fuel to fill up maybe you may want to have like four five gallon cans of fuel on reserves for each of your vehicle all right that's that's what i think is a good idea and also remember to go ahead and uh, try to keep your vehicle at a, at least half full at all times that way if you're not you know that way if you're a little bit far from home and something happens where the gas stations close or something like that and it's a systemic uh, type of an event then you can at least have enough fuel to get home right and then you've got the extra fuel at your house that you can use for emergencies starting from that time forward now I'm gonna I'm gonna I have another stop to make on my way home and uh, I'm gonna take this here 
that uh, yellow light kind of tricked me. <laughs> so I've got another uh, stop to make on my way home. I have to get a load of water. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to the water shack and uh, fill up. And uh, I'm not going to record that because uh, if you guys want to see how I get water to my house, you guys can go back a few videos and check it out uh, on how I transport the water from the water shack to my house. Uh, but if you guys can see the background, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at those hills back there beyond these trees that are pretty close. You can see how hazy it is back there. And it only gets worse the closer that you get to uh, the area up there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get on the highway after I get this water. And you guys can see that it's getting worse up there and that there's less visibility. I don't know if they're allowing airplanes to fly around this area or even up closer to where I live because it's even more hazy up there than it is here. And you can probably see it really good from here. But let me go ahead and uh, get this water tank filled up. And then uh, I'll be back on here in a minute. All right, just got my water tank filled up. And just happens that the owner of the water shack, this is what I call it, the water shack. He just happened to be there. And he ended up providing me with a free fill up. So that's pretty darn nice. Very nice. And it's kind of funny because I um, just spent a pretty good amount of money on some of these supplies that I have to use and uh, it always goes back when you have a pretty good expense it always goes back to man why does this have to happen <laughs> and you just have to remind yourselves ladies and gentlemen how lucky you really are to be able to ask you man why does this always happen <laughs> oh goodness very very blessed ladies and gentlemen not only me. If you guys hear any water splashing around, that's my tank. The water splashing around on the inside. Uh, it's a 200 gallon tank, but I only fill it up to about 190 gallons. Uh, because it has a vent in the top. And uh, the water will come out of that vent if it splashes too much. So I give it a little bit of room so that it won't make a mess inside of my vehicle. So, well here we go ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and stop talking. Look at all this smoke. It's it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and uh, the sun is out pretty good but you can still see this very thick haze in the air. Goodness gracious. I do hope that they get that fire out of control and I hope that there aren't any houses near it. I haven't heard much about it but uh, I'm sure we'll hear when they have the fire 100% under control. I did ask my neighbor and he said that the firefighters that were there did have pretty good control over the fire, but having the fire be burnt out, I, I think, you know, having the fire be completely burned down or eliminated or exterminated whatever, or extinguished, there you go, that's what I was looking for, it's a lot better than, you know, having it under control. Now, if you can see the outline of the hills in the background, you know, uh, normally you can see those hills very, very clearly. But now you can barely see them. They're almost like a shadow. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, it is so smoky. I 
had to switch my air conditioner to recirculate the air inside because the air outside is so smoky. I closed my windows too, obviously. But goodness gracious. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just got home and I thought you'd like to see this. This is my wife's vehicle. And if you can see this, all of these black specks on it, and you can see it on the window. See that? That's all ash. That's ash that's falling from the sky. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take a ride up north a few miles and see if there's anything close to us. I have a feeling that this fire is pretty far away and that this is just the aftermath of all of the ash falling down, obviously, from the sky. So, yeah, look at that. Nothing but ash. Thank you for joining in on this little ride today, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.